Thanks, Bill. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, um, two quick questions for you. Uh, first, for GSP, um, when you uh, beat Jake Shields, and that's without a doubt, there's no question. And I know that you. You say that you go into a fight already knowing you're going to win and seeing how you're going to win. So I have, without a doubt, that you're going to beat Jake Shields. Are you prepared to move up to the next level to uh, take on Anderson Silva? Let me, let, me, let me answer this question. And uh, Every time I hear this fight, you, when you guys ask me and this morning, the reporter asked me about Anderson Silva, I had a, a flashback of what happened when I fought Matt Serra the first time. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for me. I haven't even considered where I'm going to do it, how I'm going to, you know what I mean? I haven't planned this at all. Right because I, 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 I have learned from the past, uh, from my mistake in the past, to take one fight at a time. Because you don't know what's going to happen. And people, they made the mistake, they underestimate Jake Shield. Let mm -hmm. me tell you this, Jake Shield is the most dangerous guy by far that I've fought. He's very dangerous in, in different ways. He have beaten everyone at 170 and everyone like that he that he have fought like at, at 185. He have beaten Dan Anderson. Dan Anderson is he was like uh, in Japan. He was like a top top fighter at, at, as a light heavyweight and as a middleweight as well. So for me, like like I said, it's very important. It would be foolish for me to look past Jake Shield. So I haven't consider how I'm gonna do this and how you know what I mean I haven't considered a question yet I'm, I'm thinking about uh, Jake Shield 100% and uh, after uh, Jake Shield if everything goes according to plan we'll see what's gonna happen so focus on the now absolutely perfect okay one last question for Dana and this has to do with merchandise um, unfortunately we've only been able to live through merchandise as getting up here and watching it on pay-per-view um, what's the deal with uh, the figures coming up uh, we haven't been able to get the last couple series of the action figures? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to get them. Uh, they're nope. done by round five. Um, if you want to, uh, to contact, send, send me an email at Canada at UFC.com and I'll steer you exactly where you can get them. Because I've tried, like, we go to the Walmarts, the sellers, we go everywhere, you, and we go to the stores. Send it to Tom yep. at UFC, 